Hello, Donna here on Making Envelopes Five Ways. This is a series of five short videos and this is envelope number three. So now I'm going to use a straight back flap envelope and it's the lace layered envelope. And I'll show you what to do if you haven't got a second piece of lace or anything that's scalloped. These envelopes are really old. In Australia, we used to use these as our standard postal envelopes. We don't have these anymore. Very rarely would you receive an envelope this like this through the mail. Actually, we don't. We just don't receive these through the mail. But I've got a few of them and I love these because they've got the pre-printed code area on them on the front and they just look fantastic. And they've even got the little old fashioned steel, peel, peel and seal on them. So I just keep that there because it's nostalgic. So what I've done here for this one, I've used a little bit of a different envelope, but it's the same sort of concept. I haven't got many of these at all. So this one here, I've just got the flap and I've got a piece of Brodely, Brodely Anglaise. I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. And it's just a white piece. Cut a piece off and I've tea dyed that. So it was a white envelope. I've tea dyed that. And I'm just going to glue that on there. And you can glue it down as low as you like so that all of the dots are showing. Or you can have it up a little bit so that just your scalloped area is showing. And you just cut that off to length. We'll just cut that there and I could have done a better job than that couldn't I? And we'll glue that in place. You can sew or not. This one here I glued that in place and then I put a little tiny bit of glue on the top of that and then I opened it up and I've done a small zigzag there just for a bit of decoration. You don't need to do that if you haven't got a machine and I'll show you how. So this here is meant, this sort of trim is an older trim and it's meant to be sewn inside a seam so you're not meant to see that part of the trim itself. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue here. I'm using the Barely Art glue again and you can use your Helmer fabric glue and or your Fabri-Tac. So we just need that to be held in place. And I'm going to make sure that my scalloped area is down a bit lower so that it's a feature. I'm not using my fingers to push because as soon as you push the glue will come through the fabric and show up and ruin that look there. Now what we can do now is grab another piece of lace. That was the only piece of that style that I had and it was in my scrap bin. So I've got another piece of vintage lace that I could put across the top there and that would give me the layered look and, and I think that looks really nice. But what I'm going to do to show you what you can do instead of using the layered lace if you have a look through my channel, you'll see that I made my own washi tape using double-sided tape. So I've got all of this here. You can use anything at all to make your double-sided tape. So we can put a piece of that across the top here. That's just a book page. These are just some of my faux stamps that I made. That would look really cool there. And I've even used some pattern paper and that would look pretty cool across here. So I'm going to use this one today instead of using up the double lace and sewing it. Now this has already got the double-sided tape on it, so it saves me from having to glue it down, but I can also put a little bit of glue on there just to make sure in time to come that it doesn't work its way loose over the years. So I'm going to just measure that there and cut it off. 
and I'm just going to throw some glue down there just to make sure that it hangs around for a few years because I don't know about you but if any of you have ever used this double-sided tape it does let go after a few years so we'll get this tape off the back and it's much thinner once you've got that backing off and I'm going to have to get my head down a bit and I'm going to put that right across the top of the envelope and I'm going over the edges and I'm going to trim it back and of course I'll put it upside down haven't I and it's junk journaling so it doesn't really matter and trimming back and there we've got a very quick and easy way to do your little envelope now if you still feel that that's not quite the finished look you can keep on adding to that I, I don't know that I would you know do that there and cover up this type of lace but you could certainly you know maybe cut a, a very thin piece of this and make it like a pinstripe I was using pinstripes the other day on a project and I love them you know just do a very small pinstripe just a bit lower than your work there and it looks really really nice but once you start putting other things on here if you were to put a stamp and a few other things on here you'd be pretty good to go so there's envelope number three and it's much easier to do than the triangle style envelope because you're just working with that straight flap. Move on to see how I made this envelope number four and I'll see you on the next video.